Elizabeth Arden Cream. This one's wife. Uncorking disaster. The cork is out of the bottle. And what escapes from that bottle? Well, news about how this one's wife's uselessness continues. We know that this one's wife is pretty useless. Although she has become very famous and obtained a lot of money, she is hugely unpopular, ridiculed, and is on the downward spiral. This has arisen as a consequence of the fact that she has no talent, that she's not charismatic, that she's not particularly interesting, save for the purposes of a vehicle to explain narcissism. She's not that bright, she's not particularly magnetic, and ultimately, whatever she tends to deal with fucks up. She has the Sadim touch, the reverse Midas touch. And it would appear that this has been highlighted again this time by an article which appears at Radar Online, which tells us as follows. This one's wife's friends reportedly fear she's taken on too much as she gears up for her latest business venture. The Duchess of Sussex, <clears throat> 42, they've not updated her age, may be excited for the release of her new wine line. No, it's not more of her going, and whining, but the alcoholic version. But sources claim there's been chatter among her inner circle that she's setting herself up for failure. While this one's wife has kept tight-lipped about the new lifestyle brand and has yet to post anything on the official American Rieva Orchard Instagram, trademark applications gave some insight as to what fans could expect from the brand. Home decor, kitchen items, and preserves are just some products rumoured to be available for purchase. However, fears stem from the disastrous rollout of the line's first product, a homemade jam. See parts pass him. Online critics slammed the former suit's actress for packaging her inaugural product in cheap-looking jars, some of which had labels peeling off. Insiders said the <clears throat> 42-year-old's pals were concerned her new wine line will be yet another embarrassing fail as she struggles to launch the lifestyle brand. The source told a news outlet, She really needs to hit the ground running with whatever she launches next. Right now, the word is, it'll be a signature rosé wine, which has a lot of people shaking their heads and warning her against it. The level of competition and pressure in the wine game is ferocious. She's going to be stepping on quite a lot of toes. It also takes huge dedication and capital to make a successful go in the wine business, as well as a lot of time and patience, and which is not really something she has luxury of right now. No, nonsense. What do those Cassandras know? <sighs> Dedication, poof, capital, <laughs> capital, schmapital. Time, patience, balls to that. It's this one's wife. Didn't you know? She just creates things out of thin air. She's so brilliant. She'll just turn up. There'll be some bottles. They'll come from somewhere. There'll be some labels. She might even write some numbers on them. And the rosé wine will just magically appear. She will probably express it from one of her boobs. The left one creating white wine, the right red. So she crosses the streams, contrary to what you're advised to do in Ghostbusters, and there you have it. Monty shit show, this one's wife, rosé wine, fresh from the source. Her magic boobs will achieve that. Now, of course, whilst I'm taking the piss, the serious point here is that with this one's wife, her magical thinking causes her to simply believe, because it's involving her, it'll work. She doesn't understand that things need infrastructures. There are supply chains. There's a necessity of engagement to generate and cultivate interest. She simply thinks, hmm, eeny, beeny, miny, moe, what shall I do today? I know rosé wine. But -da. 
it shall come into being. And when it doesn't, her narcissism doesn't say to her, well, guess what, numbnuts? This didn't work because you're fucking lazy and useless. It simply tells her it didn't work because it was Harry's fault. He didn't promote it in the way that he should have done. Also, the grapes were at fault. They weren't as tasty as they ought to have been. And the marketing manager should be sacked because she didn't do her job properly. The article continues by explaining that American Riviera Orchard was formed after the crushing loss of Prince Harry and this one's wife's $20 million Spotify deal, which was the home of the Duchess's Archetypes podcast. Ever since then, tipsters claimed the couple have desperately attempted to rebuild their fortune as they cover their luxury living costs, including their own security detail, without the help of Harry's royal family. The source said successful vintners spend years to build up a reputable brand. Even Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie had to take their time, and they bought a working winery. Another critic griped, Imagine going from having one of the largest and most influential platforms handed to you, where you could do an incredible amount of good, to selling cheap wine as a cash grab. The insider added this one's wife's friends believe she was uncorking a recipe for disaster. In addition to this one's wife's new lifestyle brand, the couple revived their Netflix deal and are said to be working on two new, shoes, two new shows. One will fit nicely with American Riviera Orchard and will be a cooking-based show with this one's wife, if that ever sees the light of day. The other one's about polo, which so far, nothing more has been heard about that. Thus, it had been mooted previously about this one's wife getting involved in some kind of wine. But here... It's quite clear that those around her recognise that it will be a disaster because they see not only is it a hugely competitive business, but she simply doesn't understand the way to go about it. And the reason for that, of course, is down to her narcissism. It causes her to believe that everything she will touch will turn to gold, whereas rather it turns to shit. That she operates with that sense of entitlement, completely mystified as the way that things are done, just expecting them to fall into place. That's why she's so short-tempered with people. She expects everything to have happened yesterday. Because her narcissistic mindset is such that she honestly believes that people should know and do know what she needs and requires without her necessarily having to tell them. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? But that is how her narcissism works. That somehow people are telepathically expected to anticipate her needs and requirements and the fact that you don't just tells her that you're an awful, horrible, treacherous, traitorous individual who ought not to be trusted. She expects the wine will flourish. Those around her, recognising her behaviours, know that it won't. But will she listen? Of course she won't, because Madam always knows best. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>